So is Yellow Jacket still alive? Could he come back in the MCU? I guess maybe. So recently during a string of interviews related to Ant-Man and the Wasp, the director Peyton Reed was directly asked about a lot of the elements of the MCU, specifically the quantum realm, what it can do, what goes on in there, and the possibility of dead characters returning in the MCU. One specific one that got brought up was the villain from Ant-Man 1, Yellow Jacket. And he directly said, you know, he doesn't know. He could still be alive, maybe. Like, they haven't figured that out. And I assume maybe they've talked about it, but he doesn't want to give us a direct confirmation. Now, of course, when you see it, at the end of Ant-Man, his suit, it gets compromised and kind of damaged and he shrinks and he's gone we just assume he's maybe dead but we don't know what his state is right and this is comics or movies based on comics so dead always find a way to return and we don't know maybe he didn't go into the quantum realm maybe he went into another realm you know we don't really know how they're gonna play with this but i feel like if you wanted to bring him back it gives you the opportunity to play around with that and if you're going to be bringing him back, or maybe even playing with the idea of bringing him back, it makes me kind of question how and why. And why are you open to the idea? Because before in interviews, they said, oh no, he's definitely gone. No, he's, he's dead. That's the last of Yellow Jacket. And then suddenly they changed their tone, which makes me think, Thunderbolts? I mean, right, you need villains. You killed a lot of villains early on in the MCU, you probably regret it. So now you can kind of backpedal that back. Oh no, he's, whoa, he's not dead, um, he's still alive. We just gotta get him out of wherever he is at. Uh, that could honestly work. And I honestly, I like Yellow Jacket. I really like the actor because he's in The Strain, which was a Guillermo del Toro show about vampires. So he's the lead actor and I really enjoyed him in that. So when he was in Ant-Man, I was like, oh, all right. I really like this actor. So, you know, you kind of just got to start wondering what they're planning because when they shift tone like this, talking about characters, generally they're trying to say, you know, we might be playing with the idea of something down the road. And I want to say that's probably a way to maybe bring them back. Maybe not Avengers 4, maybe not Thunderbolts, but maybe flashbacks or somewhere in the quantum realm in Ant-Man 3. They can always have plenty of opportunities and I don't see why not use them.